Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to Tech Edge. Fanless computers offer so many advantages, including versatile mounting options, efficient power use, and enhanced reliability, just to name a few. So today, we're talking about the do's and don'ts of installing a fanless computer. Before we dive in, subscribe to our channel, and we'll be putting out more videos like this every week. Thanks to their versatility, fanless computers aren't always installed sitting on a desk like their consumer-grade counterparts. With that installation flexibility comes a few considerations that are easy to overlook for the uninitiated. Here are some things to keep in mind that can make or break your next fanless computer-based industrial IoT, Industry 4.0, or edge computing project. Let's start with the do's of installing a fanless computer. Carefully consider where you install it. Make sure there's no other heat producing equipment located below the PC and nothing mounted above it that could be sensitive to the heat rising off of the heat sink fins. Allowing adequate space around the system for air to pass over the fins will also help ensure optimal performance. Install the computer facing the right way. Remember that heat rises, so you'll get optimal cooling performance if the heat sink fins are facing up when the computer is mounted on a horizontal surface or perpendicular, pointing either toward the ceiling or the floor, when mounting on a vertical surface. Fanless systems can be installed with the cooling fins facing down if the optimal location requires it, like under a table, for instance. But be aware that the cooling efficiency may be impacted. Expect the computer to get warm. Fanless cooling relies on a combination of internal conduction and external convection to move the heat from internal components to the external cooling fins. From there, it can be dissipated into the air. Your system being hot to the touch means the cooling solution is working as it should. Use a dedicated power supply. When possible, use the computer's own power supply and keep its power input independent from other equipment. For example, if powering from a DC bus, avoid sharing a common DC load with any inductive load, like a motor, switches, solenoids, or relay switches. These devices can create backwards voltage spikes that can damage the computer equipment. Even 12 and 24 volt relays can create hundreds or thousands of volts of flyback voltage through the power bus. Finally, account for other environmental concerns. Fanless PCs are sturdy, but they are not invulnerable to environmental contaminants. Shield your PC from dust and debris as much as possible to optimize performance and longevity. Consider using a port blocking kit to enhance ingress protection. Now, for what you don't want to do. Don't stack anything on top of your fanless PCs. Proper airflow over the cooling fins is essential for fanless cooling. Stacking additional equipment or other items right on top of the fins will inhibit their cooling capabilities and may cause damage to the system over time. Don't install systems in a fully enclosed area. Our fanless cooling solutions are very efficient but if your system is installed in an enclosed location, like a vehicle trunk or an unventilated cabinet, ambient temperatures can quickly rise beyond the specified limits. Don't use just any power adapter. As we mentioned before, how your system is powered is vital to proper performance. The power adapter supplied with your fanless computer may provide additional electrical protections not native to the PC. Without those protections, damage could result. Verify the computer has some required protections if you're considering using another power source. Now don't forget about cable management. Fanless industrial computers are frequently subjected to wear and tear from every angle. To ensure secure connections and long-term reliability, don't rely exclusively on the connectors to support the weight of the cable over time. Cables can fail at strain points or damage connector pins from cross-loading or vibration wear. Don't install the system in direct sunlight. Solar gain, or the increase of temperature caused by solar radiation, adds up to 90 watts per square foot of thermal load. Whether the sun shines on the computer itself or on the enclosure that the computer is inside of, just try to limit the direct sunlight exposure. Lastly, don't expect the setup to be overly challenging. Though they are built to more strict specifications, fanless computers are as easy to set up as an off-the-shelf PC. In most cases, you'll find a similar selection of ports, software options, and settings. 
Every project in computer installation is unique, but these tips should help ensure a proper fanless computer installation and help you avoid potentially costly errors. We hope you were able to learn a few tips or tricks about installing a fanless computer. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be talking about our Helix series and wireless connectivity options in our upcoming videos. See you next time on TechEdge.